Good morning and welcome to your Friday devotion. I'm Pastor Jay and I'm here in the sanctuary of Christ the King. And last week we finished off the second chapter of the book of Galatians. Uh, we're working our way through that letter from Paul to the Roman province of Galatia. And I wanna look at just those last two verses of chapter two, just to bring them back to mind for you, because this is really the crux of our faith. It's really the center of what we believe about being a Christian. Listen to this. Paul writes, for through the law, I died to the law so that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside the grace of God for if righteousness could be gained through the law, Christ died for nothing. So what that means essentially is if you and I could be good enough, if we could somehow keep the commandments uh, accurately enough, if we could just be perfect people, we wouldn't need Jesus. But we know better, don't we? We know ourselves and we're honest. And we know that we have sinful thoughts and actions. We need something more. And so we look to Christ who gives us that victory. It's a, it's a gift. And so let's continue on um, in chapter 3, verse 1. You foolish Galatians, you like that exclamation point, who has bewitched you? Before your very eyes, Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed as crucified. I would like to learn just one thing from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by believing what you heard? Okay, how did they get their strength uh, for life? How did they get their power for ministry? Was it through being good? Was it through following the minutia of the law? Or was it through believing in Jesus? Was it through trust in Him? Well, of course, we know the answer to that, right? Are you so foolish? After beginning by means of the Spirit, are you now trying to finish by means of the flesh? Have you experienced so much in vain, if it really was in vain? So again, I ask, does God give you His Spirit and work miracles among you by the works of the law, or are you believing what you heard? And remember, the word believing, pistuo in Greek, means to trust. And so really what happens is you're trusting the power of God. You're depending on God. Um, and that's really where your power comes from. It's not from how good you are. It's not from the works you do. It's about how God blesses you with his Holy Spirit. So let's keep going. Um, so also Abraham, and then he quotes, believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Now remember that story? That's where... Uh, God said that he would make him the father of many nations. And he was old, his wife uh, was old, and he, was, he still believed. He trusted that God could do it, and that's made him right with God. Understand, then, he continues in 7, that those who have faith are children of Abraham. Those who trust God are children of Abraham. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and announce the gospel in advance to Abraham. So he's saying this was meant to be from the beginning, that this good news of salvation, this good news of power from the Holy Spirit and eternal life would eventually come to the Gentiles, not just the Jews. And here's what he, the quote he gives. So to go back to that, and announce the gospel in advance to Abraham. And here's what he says in, in quotes. All nations will be blessed through you. So those who rely on faith or trust are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith or the man of trust. And so that's what we have to see today is that, you know, if you're going to depend on how good you are, you're not going to get very far. If you depend on God, you, there's nothing that can stop you because all things are possible for him. I mean, he can work through you in all kinds of dynamic and powerful ways. But the main thing is to look to your power source. It's not coming from your willpower. It's not coming from how good you are or the laws of God that you keep, although those are important, right? Because we want to be good people. We want to live God's way. But if you really want the power to transform yourself and transform the world, it'll come through trust in what God did in Jesus Christ. And so that's something we can take away uh, from this week. Uh, take it into the weekend. Take it to worship um, as we come in this weekend. Remember, we've got the two services on Sunday. We've got 9 o'clock traditional worship and then 1115, our life song, uh, more contemporary worship. And then we also have faith formation for all ages at 1015. Um, so I hope you can join us. Uh, if you can't be here in person, go to ctklutheran.org and watch, watch worship with us online. God bless you. 
Have a great Friday.